So it appears that Huawei does not want to hire native English speakers. Because if they did, they would not have posted an ad with this wording for the upcoming Huawei watch. A wearable to be worn. Now that's read right up there with such Chinese English translations as Do not disturb. Tiny grass is dreaming. Or my personal favorite, Please don't touch yourself. Let us help you try out. Now I get it, Huawei's trying to make a knock at the embarrassingly geeky Google Glass. But let's talk about that watch. Huawei is gearing up to relaunch its long-delayed watch, or the Huach, as anxious fans have come to call it. First announced at the Mobile World Congress in March, the Huawei watch will probably, hopefully, become available on September 2nd, as per a pre-order page that popped up on Amazon, and a tweet from an official Huawei account. Four versions of the device are listed on Amazon, from a basic stainless steel version that costs about $350, to a gold-plated model going for a pricey $799. The device is sold and shipped by Amazon, so it's unlikely that the price is artificially inflated, as sometimes happens with resellers. The high price of the Huawei watch is quite surprising. It looks like the Chinese giant is happy to match Apple on pricing, whereas other Android manufacturers have kept prices much lower. With consumer sentiment in the wearables field steadily eroding, it's definitely a bold move by Huawei. But we don't see that high price tag lasting for too long. And we got good stuff for all you Sony Xperia fans. We're talking the Z5. And the highlight for all those camera aficionados out there is that it now seems all but officially confirmed by Sony that the Z5 will feature an impressive 23 megapixel rear shooter. The device as pictured here looks similar to those that have come before it. The phone still retains the same rectangular shape Sony has used since its origin, though again with new rounded edges. Ports can also be seen along the bottom end of the device, sans the flap, which looks like the smartphone will once again achieve its waterproofing primarily through sealing rather than covering. The Xperia Z5 is expected to have a fingerprint sensor built into the power button. The button, in turn, will now be flat as opposed to the circular protrusion that had graced the previous models in the series. Now we've also heard some interesting rumors regarding the Droid Max 2 and the Turbo 2. Thanks to the folks at Hello Moto HK, there's now some more evidence that Motorola will, in fact, rebrand the Moto X Play as the Verizon exclusive Droid Max 2. As you can see from the leaked images here, what's allegedly the Droid Max 2 back plate is shown off next to the Moto X Play back cover. The two look very similar, but if you look closely, you can see the standard Verizon branding above the Droid logo on the bottom of the device. As is the case with other rumors, we should take this with a grain of salt, since nothing has yet been confirmed. With that said, now that we have some visual evidence of the potential rebranding, these rumors are certainly becoming much more believable. Now, specific details on specs are scarce, but sources claim that the phone will have a quote, unbreakable display. Now that's a strong statement indeed. A later update from Fandroid confirmed that this is partly due to the POLED panel the Droid Turbo 2 will be carrying. Now let's talk about the smartwatch that is expected to be the finest looking Android Wear device out there. More supposed images of the next generation Moto 360 have just hit the web, courtesy of a Reddit user that claims to work for a company who makes phone cases and Pebble watch bands. These new images don't show off a finished version of the watch, rather the watch's frame sitting conveniently next to a ruler for size. According to the user, the bezel seems a bit thicker than last year's device, which should probably be taken with a grain of salt, since this isn't a finished version of the watch we're seeing here. Thanks for watching, Android Army. My name is Jace, and I really would love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter, and I will read you in the comments below. Don't forget about my brothers and sister in Android. We're working super hard to be your source for all things Android.